and tada hello guys welcome on board this is andy deolu life and then share wapa the more binu lay out me to leash lay zanena lay kilo sell the more binu welcome on board i welcome everybody i love you please guys continue to subscribe hey whoa ututu oni hey whoa moshe actually i'm just coming inside ututu oni pop oni pamilo ruko jesu i love you guys i love you i love you marish welcome on board this is andy deolu yeah before I go any further, if you are interested, if you love to be mentioned, to be reckoned on my platform, yeah, Malish. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys, if you really, enough, enough of your displaying out there, okay, if you really love to be reckoned, to be mentioned on my platform, you gotta walk up to me and pay me, yeah. You have to pay me, okay? Okay? Anybody, because I've been perceiving a lot of unreasonable display, unreasonable display out there. Yes, somebody like us, because I've said earlier on, we are the foundation of fame and all that. You might be matter in the society if you want to be mentioned. I'm, I'm serious. If you want to be mentioned, because I don't see how you, you, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't feed my ass. This is not your platform, it's mine. People out there, anybody to whom it may concern, if you want to, you know yourself, you want to be mentioned on my platform, you got to pay me. If you can't pay me, let's move on to another thing. Yeah, Subscribers, love you guys, love you guys. Let's keep the fire burning, love you so much, guys. Yes, there's another and one that you know i'm empowering your words a motivational speaker a presenter you know i just want to our focus on something okay people out there ejo to whom it may concern and you see eje tajo de ejo kini won pe tajo de le de gesi awon tajo de le le ba wa awon oh shit oh fuck you fuck you man ejo eyin te je tajo de should we call you jolly just come or what? I don't know what you should be called. Those of you that just came all the way. Those of you that you are in diaspora, you eventually come to your country. And you got, you know, when you people arrive, you begin to do, oh damn, oh shit, oh fucking, fucking, fucking. What is your problem? If you have been, spent many years abroad, does not mean you should be arrogant when you come back to your own country. This is where you people, I'm not talking of those who are born outside your country. I'm not talking of, okay, one of my, uh, my, my nephew, Tife, that is why they gave him Tife. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's from Germany. He was born in Germany. I'm not talking of people like that. And Tife came back to this country, I think when he was 10 years or 8 years or so, Okay. So when they first arrive, it might be like it's only Sheung Ati Toby ni won be in Nigeria. Sheung left this country. I mean, Toby left this country. I think when she was going to two years, but let go and Sheung. Sheung not lock me for years. Top if you lose, you lose. Top lock join in that the money Germany, but lose ya won. But their last child, Tifa, was born in Germany. Guys out there, are you with me? Because I just watched an update just of recent. I've been seeing a lot of things, not only updates, that people that eventually, even some people will not spend more than one year. But this new update, the guy lamented that he has spent many years in the Western world. You are even in Europe. Europe. We are, every, everybody, please don't get things twisted though. No, don't let anybody come and cajole you and deceive you. There are Europe and there are Europe. Europe are different. Okay? We have a lot of Europe that are worse. That if you even if you marry from that country is and they are white in that country, but you cannot compare them to all these popular Europe like Denmark, like um like Australia, like all. Do you understand? There are a lot of Europe. The Europe that one of our uh, friends from here went to do their <laughs> went to do their honeymoon. The husband based in America, the wife based in Cairo here. So the husband used to come and visit the wife because the husband was first in Cairo before he traveled to America. But the wife has been proce processing America. They have not given her. The genuine, I mean, the visa. So the husband used to come down. So they, they travel to another Europe just to make the passport of the wife to be relevant the more. They have been to Dubai together so that they can give the wife American visa. Till now, they have not given that wife American. That wife is our friend here. Do you understand? So just obviously they came back. They went to another Europe. My goodness. 
I'm not saying the all Europe are very beautiful, but imagine a um, country like um, what is the ha, what is the name of this country that there's no any opportunity there? Another white country like this, I've forgotten the name. They went to one of these Europe like that. Nothing. The country is just okay. No job for foreigners, no nothing. They said it's only Omolanke, um, this wheelbarrow that you will be pushing there if you are a foreigner. No opportunity, no, no nothing. Okay? You go to a country like... Ah. So, stop saying, okay, even the guy, despite of, of his paparazzi and all that, of his, uh, he, he was not specific about the Europe he came from. He just continued to speak his own dialect, which is Igbo and English. And you continue to yab your fellow Nigerians. Were you not born in this country before you left? You even claim that you have your first degree here. What is your problem? I don't blame you. I blame fellow Nigerians claiming that allowing people, don't allow anybody to pull you down. So far, nobody is putting food on your table. And even if they are putting food on your table, disease from such person, anybody that wants to dominate you, that wants to underrate you, even if you are not, even if you are not educated. No, I don't care your status. No, your don't allow anybody to intimidate you. This guy came and said, eh, 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 it's been a while he has landed in Nigeria. He has been trying to come online, but he couldn't come online. You know, he's also a speaker like us and all that. And when you eventually came online, you were like, this is a fast style hotel. Oh. Hmm. Even their network is worse. No, but no, no wonder a lot of people in Nigeria are not able to come online. Their network is not available. When it's eventually available, the network is not infected. Blah, blah, blah. Story for the gods. And how come? What kind of five-star hotel that have um, that their internet can penetrate into the rooms? I don't believe it. Egypt here, my goodness. Although God will first of all bless, bless our wonderful Nigeria before Egypt in Jesus' name. Egypt here. Let me tell you, no public place like hotel, be it five-star or no five-star. Their internet access, you can only have access when you are in the reception. If you have your own personal room, internet cannot penetrate because they don't know what you are, you are using their internet to do. They don't want to be a problem. Because there is a lot of security in this country. Even if Dan Gote enter any places like hotel that he wanted to jet, and he jet inside, I mean, he wanted to relax or anything. Before he go, he, before they allow you inside the hotel, they will tell him with all due respect, a lot of army officer We walk up to the car, we tell him, sir, can we see your boots? I'm serious. A lot of my friends that are foreigners in the country, white people keep telling me that they are sick and tired, that there's no respect and all that. Go, go, go to most of Egypt's bank. I respect this country. Too much security. Because terrorists here and there, nobody can be trusted anymore. You would think black back as, as clothes. Not, that, not knowing that there is a normal routine. There is a normal procedure before you can penetrate into a bank. Either you are a customer or not. So far, you have a mission there. Every bank, you will think they have closed. If you don't know the normal thing that you just have to play, press one button, they will scan you and all that before you, My goodness. What are you saying? How come you are having internet in your own room, in, a, in your personal room? Ah, I'm sure that hotel, it might be a fast start. They are all professional. For goodness sake, because with all this crime, with all these ads that going here and there, with all these problems that um, people's lives are in danger here and there, you are even lucky. That means Nigeria is, is, is wonderful. It does not matter whether the network is effective or not. You mean in your own personal room in that five-star hotel, you have access to internet. Not that you subscribe internet on your phone. Hell no, EA. That's why that they have one of the best hotels in the world pertaining to records. So don't, don't come and stand around. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. You claim that uh, in the people were going, they are obstructing one-way road. The one-way road that is not the road they are supposed to pass. Because other road is blocked, that they are obstructing one way road, you walk down to them, you insulted them, somebody that is not driving your car. I'm not, please, people don't get me wrong out there. Yes, it is true that people are very, very on the road, they are obstructful and things like that. But come here in Egypt, if you are not a crazy driver, if you are not a colomental driver, in Egypt, if you want to drive, it's, it's not enough when you are just a good driver. If you are just a very good driver, if you are not a radical driver, you cannot drive in Egypt. Let me tell you. 
not only knowing how to drive if you are a, if you are an innocent driver you are good though even you can be a driver to anybody but you are innocent you are not radical you are not crazy in mind you cannot drive on egypt road let me tell you so let me don't say eh, it is because he's in nigeria i don't know although you were you didn't specify the kind of hero you didn't specify but that hero that you are that is here in egypt the road uh, obstruction by by vehicles and all that is worse Nigerians are even saints. There is security in Egypt, but on the road, despite that the police and the immigration and the road safety have stated that these are the road for trailers, these are the road for blocks, they don't listen, even on broad daylight. When they are in a hurry, and nobody can... Do you understand? That, they are having their way. All vehicles on the road, though, despite that they are obstructing unreasonably, although there are places there are traffic light and all that. Vehicle respect only the zone of where they put, but not everywhere. They only respect only places that they put that sign of traffic light. Like, you know, the traffic light that used to play when um, red means stop, yellow means ready, and green means they should go. And they only respect those special zones, but all those, all those other, other places that there were no sign. So, I understand what you are saying, but you have to be polite. Don't, don't address people anyhow. Just, you, you, you are from a Western world. I'm from a Middle Eastern world. Yeah, I base in Middle Eastern. Where are most of you that travel abroad? Where have you been that nobody have been before? Yo, Kweje, I don't. In fact, you don't impress me one bit. But I don't blame. I don't blame people like you. I blame our fellow Nigerians. When you are always seeing some to be superior, nobody is superior except God. Nobody is superior. Get it? I don't say you should not respect one another. I respect people a lot. But I don't see anybody in my life to be superior. Enough of all this crap and shit. A lot of you were born in Nigeria. Born and brought out in Nigeria. You eventually have a, 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 an opportunity like that. You people will jet out. By the time you come back, you'll be, you'll be saying trash. Even though you, the, the truth might be penetrating for you people's mouth at times. Oh, they do it all in so I'm wrong. Shubani, I'm not so I'm not going to do it. See, if you're not going to do it, you're not going to do it. Let humility govern your life. A lot of you speakers at times, it is true that you are saying the truth. But you, you people are not humble with your truth. And nobody is ready to listen to with your bullying truth. You bully people's life because you are saying the truth. What truth? And the truth that most of you are saying that we cannot take you by the word of your mouth. We cannot take you by the word of your mouth. It's easier, it's easier saying the truth, but a lot of people are not practicing that truth. Give yourself a break, Johnny, just come. Give yourself a break. Any tajo day, Efeso Shio. Efeso, Akado Ori, Brookwood and Bakiri. Efeso Shio. Yo, Sebe King Oma Shio, Jagiri Jagon, Lo Ju Popo, and Yon Lek Be Miare, Yon Lo Oto. Shuban Go Go Akori, Po Rob, Yepwe Ibi, By Kolo Bini Simo. Ile Latin Kesh Oro Day. I will always be grateful to Nigeria. I will always be grateful to my tribe, Yoruba. I will always be grateful to my... I'm not proud to say... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not shy to say that I'm the, I'm the great-great-granddaughter of Baba Lago. Loke Popo, ni Maryland. I'm the great-great-great-great-great-granddaughter of Baba Lago. I want not to go a lot of Baba Lago. I'm so proud. Love you guys. This is Andy, the Uru Dancer Girl. Welcome on board. I love you. I gotta go. I gotta go. Please subscribe. Love you.